Since my first historical division layout video was a major success and a lot of people asked for more, I will do more. But first I have to address the errors in my original layout. So here is a short update in which I discussed my errors, some community contributions and of course the updated layouts. First thank you all for your feedback especially on the Paradox forums. Now there are two people I want to mention explicitly. First is Steam user Ramadan who created a mod with various historical divisions which is also available on the Steam Workshop. Second the Paradox user Elfie Wolf for giving a lot of good feedback and creating a wiki page with the divisions that are derived from my layouts with additional in-game values. Note that in both cases I didn't have time to check them out thoroughly, but from their conduct, comments and the data I looked at I have a good initial impression. Now when I did my first video I missed a few things that led to several errors, most notably first initially I wasn't sure if the artillery battalions in-game were actual artillery regiments or not. Second, I missed that the support units have less equipment and guns than the equivalent regular combat units. Third, I assigned far too small numbers of anti-tank units in the original video. The first part, the in-game artillery battalions are actually three historical artillery battalions. Additionally, in the game files they are actually called artillery brigades. Whereas the historical artillery battalion had 12 guns, the in-game has 36. For this reason the number of artillery units in my original videos were way too high. Second, I missed that the number of guns in the support units for anti-tank, artillery and anti-aircraft is less than that of the regular combat battalions. Basically a regular combat unit has 50% more guns than a support version. This allows a bit more fine tuning but also note that the support units have a special characteristics in game that I won't cover here. Third, in my original video I was way too strict on the anti-tank units. For some reason I neglected the in-game numbers of the guns and used the German infantry division as a reference, whereas in this video I will set the in-game numbers in direct reference to the historical numbers. Since I covered the historical division setups in the original video, I will not narrate the whole setup again. So if you are interested in the background and haven't seen the original video, you might want to check it out beforehand. It is mostly military history. Note that these units are optimized for historical accuracy and not gameplay. So let's get started. The adapted setup for the German Infantry Division from 1940 is as follows. To do the high number of 70 anti-tank guns I recommend to use two regular anti-tank battalions and remove the support anti-tank gun unit. The number of artillery battalions should be reduced from 4 to 1 since the in-game artillery battalion are three times the size of the historical ones. Now since the historical unit had 48 artillery guns, an alternative setup would be to use no regular artillery unit but two support artillery units. This would give the correct number of artillery pieces for this unit. But the problem is we have a limited number of support slots. Since we covered 50 shades in grey, time to take a look at Big Red. Well not Big Red actually because it's a bit too scary. So let's look at the Soviet Rifle Division from April 1941. Based on the data I propose the following changes. Reduce the number of artillery battalions to one or two units. Since the division had 54 anti-tank guns and my original proposal had a regular anti-tank battalion included, one could add an additional support anti-tank unit. This would bring up the total in-game number to 60 guns, which is slightly above the historical number. But again, you will lose a support slot. Well, the 4th of July is over, but freedom never ends. So next is the US Army Infantry Division layout from July 1943. The changes are very similar to the German and Soviet unit. Reduction of the artillery units to just one artillery battalion. Then adding a regular anti-tank unit and also an op optional support anti-tank unit. Since the historical division had 57 anti-tank guns, thus just being 3 guns short to be exactly on point. Also similar to the German division had 48 artillery guns, so an alternative setup could be no regular artillery units but two support artillery units, to get the same amount of artillery pieces as the original layout. Now if you like to call things Spandau, here we go, the British Infantry Division in 1939 of the British Expeditionary Force. The changed layout for the British is as follows, I would add an anti-tank battalion and maybe an anti-tank support unit. Although the real division had only 48 anti-tank guns, it had a large amount of anti-tank rifles. Also only one artillery battalion. The rest stays the same. Now the war situation may still not necessarily develop to your advantage. Nevertheless, here's the update for the Japanese infantry division standard B of around 1940. 
The change layout for the Rising Sun is as follows. No regular artillery battalions, because of the very limited amount of firepower provided by the Japanese. At most one artillery support unit should be added. Now in case you wanna go full Duce, here's the change layout for one of the most dangerous pizzeria delivery services in history. The Italian Infantry Division from 1940. I suggest making the optional anti-tank support unit a definitive one. Since the original division had 24 anti-tank guns, which is exactly the number of the in-game unit. No regular artillery units, but one support artillery unit. Although the historical unit had 36 artillery guns, those had very limited firepower. Well, what is faster than pizza delivery? Well, some argue it is the United Baguette Division, so let's take a look at the changes for the French Infantry Division of 1940. There should be a reduction for regular artillery battalions to just one, and instead of the support anti-tank unit, a regular anti-tank battalion, and an optional additional one as support, similar to the US and Soviet division because the French division had 58 anti-tank guns historically, thus just too short of 60. Now of course this is for Hearts of Iron 4 and it is not Space Invaders, nevertheless some update on the Polish Space Division is necessary. The changes for the Polish Infantry Division of 1939 is as follows. The once optional support anti-tank unit is not definitely a part of the division, because the historical division had 27 guns. Since the historical artillery was quite similar to that of the Italian division, no regular artillery battalions neither, just one support artillery unit. And the last division layout for this video, the setup of the Romanian Infantry Division of 1941. Now the updated Vampire Legions are as follows. The historical division had 30 anti-tank guns. Hence, either a regular anti-tank battalion or a support anti-tank unit are possible. The artillery battalion should be reduced to one support artillery battalion, since the firepower is just a bit more than that of the Polish or Italian division. Now a final note, once I realized that the in-game artillery battalions are actually the size of five historical artillery battalions, I added a suggestion to the Paradox Forum. Maybe there's a good reason for this, but I haven't found one so far, because well, there are enough slots in the division designer to support very large units. Additionally, all other battalions have mostly correct values for manpower and equipment numbers that are on par with the historical numbers. So this is really an inaccuracy I can't really understand. Now, if you think the same way or otherwise, please check the link below to my suggestion post on the forums and add your thoughts or support there. And again, all layouts are available as images on my homepage. Check for the links in the description. There you can also find the script with all the sources and further links. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. And see you next time.